Hey guys, it's Captain Rick Studios here with another LEGO Star Wars 2015 set review. And what we have here is the AAT, uh, set number 75080, has 251 pieces. Now guys, uh, I personally, myself, think that this is a great set. And I'm going to tell you why I think that. I'm going to show you the reasons why I think this is better than the previous uh, version back in, I think, 1999. So, alright guys, let's go ahead and get into the set. First off, we have uh, Jar Jar Binks, which I think is a very cool uh, minifigure. Uh, he comes with a shield, like uh, one of those laser shields they turn on, which is very cool. And uh there's his back head printing. And uh let's see if they can get his head off. Show you the back printing. Right there. So yeah. Put his head back on. He comes with one of these little electric spears or catapult sticks, I don't know, but slingshot sticks, I guess, I'm not sure, but anyway, yeah, so that's Jar Jar Binks, and he's a cool figure, he's not exclusive, uh, he's been in other sets, uh, I think one other set besides this, uh, and then we have another one of these blue pilot droids, which uh, are my favorite battle droid, these blue ones, I think are really cool, so yeah, I really like them, so yeah, and then we have uh, just a regular battle droid. So, okay. Let's get on to the tank itself, which I think is really cool. And I'll tell you why I think that. Okay. Here's the front view of it. side the back and the other side and then here's the top of it now guys I think this is a really really cool set I mean I believe the design on this is very movie accurate uh, I mean I think it's really really cool I'm going to go now, I'm going to go into the cons of this set. Why I don't think, what I think they, what they did wrong and what they should have done with this set. Here's the cons, guys. No detail whatsoever printed or stickers in the front. And even David brought that up in his review. Uh, that is, was a little disappointing to me. They should have put some kind of the pattern from the original AT-AT in the movie. I mean, the AAT. Um... So yeah, that was disappointing. And secondly, this is maybe a little smaller than it probably should be. I mean, I per I think it's a perfect uh, play size. I mean, it's perfect to to get your hand on around it and and to play with your minifigures with it. I think it's a perfect mock size, uh, play size, whatever. I think it's perfect for, especially if you're building a smaller mock, but you want to have a lot of droid tanks. These are perfect size for having multiples on a smaller mock. I think that's really cool. Uh, so yeah, guys, the only thing I see that I don't like about this is the print. There's no detail in the front, and it's a little smaller than it probably should be. But besides that, it's a really awesome set, I think. And uh, now I'm going to go into why I think it's an awesome set. Here is the pros to this set, guys. I'm going to go ahead and, while I'm ch telling you the pros to this, I'm going, to, I'm going to compare it with LEGO's original version from 1999, I believe. Right there. I did a review on this on my channel. If, if, on my channel, if you want to see a review, a, re a review on this one, I've already done a review. So, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. Here's the two next together, next to each other. You got the front on. 
is the side. And there's the back. <clears throat> Alright guys, let's get into why I think this is better than even this. And that's saying a lot because I this used to be one of my favorite LEGO Star Wars sets. <clears throat> Alright, first off, like I said before, the cons. This printing design should have been placed on the front of this. I really think that was really bad on LEGO's part to leave that out. But, uh... Okay, that. That's about the only thing I see that's really wrong with this tank. And then, of course, it's a little smaller than this, but not by much. And, okay, here's the pros to this set over the this set. Because I know that David and some other people advise just buying lots of these instead of these. So, just get this instead of this one. And this one, I would say, I don't think you should do that. I think you should get this over this one. And this is why. First off, this one right here only goes that far. That's it. It does not go a complete 360 all the way around. It stops right there. That's it. It's, it's, and this cannon does not aim down to the ground. It, it it just goes up. That's it. And it's very stiff when it goes up, too. So, yeah. And it can break off pretty easy if you don't watch out. So Yeah, and that's okay. Now... This tank right here, on the other hand, does a complete 360. All the way around, guys, with ease. This is real stiff, and it doesn't even go off to the side all the way. This does a complete 360, guys, a complete 360, and that is awesome. And another thing, guys, this cannon will bend down to the ground. All the way around. Yes, this one does not. Okay? And also, it moves up and down very easily, guys. It can go all the way up to, with the hatch opened, this point right there. About right there. This is very stiff. Very stiff, guys. And it's, as you can see, it'll break off if you don't watch out. But it's stiff to go back down. You need to take both hands to do it. And, you know, depending on how new the joints are, I guess. But that's very stiff. This goes up and down with just a finger, guys. One finger moves this thing. So, that's two major pros I see to this over that. As far as, far as playability. I mean... And another great pro to this set over this is this piece is not doesn't even look like a hatch piece whatsoever it has a printed hatch on the front but that does not open you gotta take the whole thing off to get inside this hatch right here and it's not even fully closed in it's it's there's a there's a gap here see there's a gap right there guys there's a gap when you have it th the thing on so here no gap no gap whatsoever guys so that's right there's a pro. And then the hatch itself, not a printed little printed picture hatch, there's a real hatch. And the hatch opens up on a hinge. That is very cool, guys. That is a very cool feature in this set. The hatch opens up. And let me see if I can get you a little look inside there. Um there's no controls or anything in there. But neither does that have any controls inside here either. So, and that opens and closes with ease, guys. And no gaps. This is the overall build and design of this set. is sturdier, stronger, and better. Let's take a look at this intricate design front. I mean... This, this, a lot of design work went into making this look accurate. I mean, I mean, guys, these cannons, these side cannons look accurate. These things are very sturdy. You can pick them up by it. They don't break. You try to pick up this thing by these things, they're going to break. So, yeah, guys, 
I'm not trying to put this down in your eyes. I'm not trying to say this is a piece of crap. I'm just saying this, I think, is better for playability. I mean, if you want to play, get some good play out of out of this this uh, tank, a tank like this. Choose this one, guys. This is a better quality, better built. I mean, the design on this and the and the is a lot better. I think. If you just look over the overall design of this, how this was designed, the front and such, compared to the front on this, this guys, look at just the the way the front was designed was really cool. I mean, there's no gaps or any left out spaces that weren't filled in, like in this. I mean. So guys, I'm going to say to buy this over one of these. Because, first off, this is cheaper than you're going to find these for. And, because I got my factory sealed for about $120, this one. This one was $24. So, and guys, perfect size. It's perfect for playing. And uh, the hatch opens up at the top here. Easy, by the way. Very easy to open up this hatch. This hatch at the top, guys, it's very stiff and it's it's kind of difficult to take it off. It, it'll break off like that if you don't watch out. So yeah, and it's not even a cir perfect circle shape. And yeah, so guys, this thing opens very easily and it's a circle. I mean, and just look at the detail even on the cannon itself. Really cool. I mean, that is almost the identical accurate shape to the cannon, really, in Star Wars, uh, The Phantom Menace. So, yeah, guys, definitely a lot of play features, I would say. I mean, spins complete 360, this thing goes down, up, the hatch opens up, the top hatch, this hatch opens up, and, and, you know, and there's missiles right here in the front and, and if you look here in the back you fire them off you fire them off by lifting them up like that I mean and each one will do it really cool guy that's a cool feature if you ask me adding these missiles is a really cool feature yeah. so guys this is a really cool tank I think you guys should really give this this set a chance. This is a really cool set, and and you know, okay, it's not perfect. It's got some flaws, but I'm personally gonna de uh, decal some patterns on the front myself to make it look closer to the patterns on this one. I'm gonna decal my decal the front myself for de add a decoration. You can do the same thing if you guys. You know, want to decorate your own front with stickers or water slide decal, whatever. But uh, besides that, guys, this is a really cool set. Just to say you don't want to buy the set because there's no stickers on the front, or there's a detail on the front, or that there's it's a little too small. You guys are going to be missing out. I mean, big time. I think you guys should give it a chance. It really is a cool set. So, guys, take a look in the box now. Here's the box. Charger hanging onto the cannon. And here's the back of the box. And it's uh, showing some of the features, the missile features. Complete 360 spin. The hatch opens up both hatches. So yeah guys. The comic comic pictures. This is a really cool set, guys. I think you guys should give it a chance. That's my review. I think you guys will really like it. It's great for play for smaller mocks. If you want to have a whole bunch of tanks on a smaller mock, yeah, guys. Um, I'll definitely be using this in a mock in the future. So, yeah, guys. So, rate, comment, and subscribe to this review and the rest of my reviews that will be up shortly, if not already. So, yeah, guys. You guys have a great day. This is Captain Rex Studio signing off. Goodbye.